Worldwide energy supply is the global production and preparation of fuel, generation of electricity, and energy transport. Energy supply is a vast industry, powering the world economy. More than 10% of the world expenditures is used for energy purposes, of all produced energy 80% is fossil. Half of that is produced by China, the United States and the Arab states of the Persian Gulf. The Gulf states and Norway export most of their production, largely to the European Union and Japan where not sufficient energy is produced to satisfy their users. Energy production increases slowly, except for solar and wind energy which grows more than 20% per year. Produced energy, for instance crude oil, is processed to make it suitable for consumption by end-users. The supply chain between production and final consumption involves many conversion activities and much trade and transport among countries, causing a loss of one-third of energy before it is consumed. Energy consumption per person in an America is very high while in developing countries it is low and more renewable. Worldwide carbon dioxide emission from fuel combustion was 32 gigaton in 2015. In view of contemporary energy policy of countries the IEA expects that the worldwide energy consumption in 2040 will have increased more than a quarter and that the goal, set in the Paris Agreement about climate change, will not nearly be reached. Several scenarios to achieve the goal are developed. Primary energy production This is the worldwide production of energy, extracted or captured directly from natural sources. In energy statistics primary energy PE refers to the first stage where energy enters the supply chain before any further conversion or transformation process. Energy production is usually classified as Fossil, using coal, crude oil and natural gas Nuclear, using uranium Renewable, using hydropower, biomass, wind and solar energy, among others. Primary energy assessment follows certain rules to ease measurement and comparison of different kinds of energy. Due to these rules uranium is not counted as PE but as the natural source of nuclear PE. Similarly water and air flow energy that drives hydro and wind turbines, and sunlight that powers solar panels, are not taken as PE but as PE sources. The table lists the worldwide PE production and the countries, regions producing most 90 of that. The amounts are given in million tons of oil equivalent per year 1 MTOE, a. Topic 11.63 terawatt hours, a. 1.327 gigawatts. The data are of 2015. Click on a column header to arrange countries, regions by that kind of primary energy. The top producers of the USA are Texas 20%, Wyoming 11%, Pennsylvania 8%, W. Virginia 5%, and Oklahoma 4%. In the Mideast, the Persian Gulf states Iran, Iraq, Kuwait, Oman, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, and the Arab Emirates produce most. A small part comes from Bahrain, Jordan, Lebanon, Syria, and Yemen. The top producers in Africa are Nigeria 254, S Africa 167, Algeria 138 and Angola 100. 
In the EU France 138, mainly nuclear, Germany 120, UK 119, Poland 68, mainly coal and Netherlands 48, mainly natural gas produce most. Of the world renewable supply 1319 is biofuel and waste, mostly in developing countries, 334 is generated with hydro power and 200 with other renewables. For more detailed energy production see List of countries by electricity production List of countries by electricity production from renewable sources Nuclear power by country Renewable energy production Topic. Trend From 2010 to 2015 worldwide production increased 8%, with big differences among regions. The EU produced 9% less, Africa 5% less, China 12% more, the USA 17% more. A small part of the renewables, solar and wind energy, increased fast, a factor 3, in line with the strong growth since 1990. In China not only solar and wind increased, five times, but also nuclear production, 130%. From production to final consumption Primary energy is converted in many ways to energy carriers, also known as secondary energy. Coal mainly goes to thermal power stations. Coke is derived by destructive distillation of bituminous coal. Crude oil goes mainly to oil refineries, and is also used to make petroleum coke. Natural gas goes to natural gas processing plants to remove contaminants such as water, carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide, and to adjust the heating value. It is used as fuel gas, also in thermal power stations. Nuclear reaction heat is used in thermal power stations. Biomass is used directly or converted to biofuel. Electricity generators are driven by steam or gas turbines in a thermal plant or water turbines in a hydropower station or wind turbines, standalone or in a wind farm. The invention of the PV cell in 1954 started electricity generation by solar panels, connected to a power inverter. Around 2000 mass production of panels made this economic. Much of primary and converted energy is traded among countries, about 5,350 MTOE, a worldwide, mostly oil and gas. The table lists countries, regions with large difference of export and import. A negative value indicates that much energy import is needed for the economy. The quantities are expressed in MTOE, A and the data are of 2015, big transport goes by tanker ship, tank truck, LNG carrier, rail freight transport, pipeline and by electric power transmission. 32% of primary production is used for conversion and transport, and 6% for non-energy products like lubricants, asphalt and petrochemicals. 62% remains for end users. Topic: Total primary energy supply. Total primary energy supply (TPEs) indicates the sum of production and import subtracting exports and storage changes. For the whole world TPES nearly equals primary energy PE but for countries TPES and PE differ in quantity and quality. 
Usually secondary energy is involved, e.g., import of an oil refinery product, so TPES is often not PE. P in TPES has not the same meaning as in PE. It refers to energy needed as input to produce some or all energy for end users. The table lists the worldwide TPES and the countries, regions using most 81% of that in 2015. Topic: Final consumption. This is the worldwide consumption of energy by end users. This energy consists of fuel 80% and electricity 20%. The tables list amounts expressed in million tons of oil equivalent per year. 1 MTOE equals 11.63 terawatt hours. How much of these is renewable energy and energy used per person per year in TO A? Non-energy products are not considered here. The data are of 2015, fuel, fossil, natural gas, fuel derived from petroleum, LPG, gasoline, kerosene, gas, diesel, fuel oil, from coal, anthracite, bituminous coal, coke, blast furnace gas, renewable, biofuel and fuel derived from waste, for district heating, the amounts are based on lower heating value. Electricity See Electric Energy Consumption Section World Electricity Consumption for details, but note that the table there includes also internal consumption of power plants, about 10% of the totals. The first table lists worldwide final consumption and the countries, regions which use most 83%. In developing countries fuel consumption per person is low and more renewable. Canada, Venezuela and Brazil generate most electricity with hydropower. In Africa 32 of the 48 nations are declared to be in an energy crisis by the World Bank. See Energy in Africa. The next table shows countries consuming most 83% in the European Union, and Norway. The last four countries generate electricity largely renewable. For more details in Europe see energy in Germany, energy in France, etc. Topic. Energy for energy Some fuel and electricity is used to construct, maintain and demolish, recycle installations that produce fuel and electricity, such as oil platforms, uranium isotope separators and wind turbines. For these producers to be economic the ratio of energy returned on energy invested EROEI or energy return on investment EROI should be large enough. There is little consensus in the technical literature about methods and results in calculating these ratios, but it is likely that for fuels fossil and nuclear, hydropower and wind turbines the ratio is at least 10, for solar panels about 7 and for solar collectors hot water only 2. In southern European countries solar EROEI exceeds 10 but more to the north it is less as it takes a greater part of the lifetime to regain the invested energy. <laughs> Outlook until 2040 Based on examination of current policies the IEA expects increasing strains on almost all aspects of energy security P. Including new announced policies and targets, new policies, the IEA estimates that to 2040 the global energy demand will have increased more than a quarter due to developing countries led by India. 
global energy-related CO2 emissions increase slowly. The IEA calls this scenario far out of step with what scientific knowledge says will be required to tackle climate change P. The sustainable development scenario meets internationally agreed objectives on climate change, air quality and universal access to modern energy. The figure shows that overall primary energy demand in 2040 can be kept at today's level increasing efficiency, renewable sources can increase their share to about 30% half of which is solar and wind, nuclear increases to about 10% by growth in Asia, natural gas increases slightly, oil peaks soon, coal declines immediately, fossil fuels will meet about 60% of total demand demand down from 82% now. CO2 emission can reduce by capture and storage, decreasing methane emissions and eliminating flaring P. from 33 GT in 2017 to 18 GT in 2040, Table 1.5. The global annual average energy investment in the period 2026 to 40 could amount to 3.3 trillion dollars of which 0.7 trillion dollars for renewables table 1.7 But the actions taken by governments will be decisive Alternative achieving the Paris Climate Agreement goals scenarios are developed by a team of 20 scientists at the University of Technology of Sydney, the German Aerospace Centre, and the University of Melbourne, using IEA data but proposing transition to nearly 100% renewables by mid-century, along with steps such as reforestation. Nuclear power and carbon capture are excluded in these scenarios page 3. The researchers say the costs will be far less than the $5 trillion per year governments currently spend subsidizing the fossil fuel industries responsible for climate change page X. In the plus 2. Zero C global warming scenario total primary energy demand in 2040 can be 450 EJ. Topic 10,755 MTOE or 400 EJ. 9,560 MTOE in the plus 1.5 scenario, well below the current production. Renewable sources can increase their share to 300 EJ in the plus 2.0 C scenario or 330 PETA joules in the plus 1.5 scenario in 2040. In 2050 renewables can cover nearly all energy demand. Non-energy consumption will still include fossil fuels. See Fig.5 on P. XXVII. Global electricity generation from renewable energy sources will reach 88% by 2040 and 100% by 2050 in the alternative scenarios. New renewables, mainly wind, solar and geothermal energy, will contribute 83% of the total electricity generated p. XXIV. The average annual investment required between 2015 and 2050, including costs for additional power plants to produce hydrogen and synthetic fuels and for plant replacement, will be around $1.4 trillion p.182. Shifts from domestic aviation to rail and from road to rail are needed. Passenger car use must decrease in the OECD countries but increase in developing world regions after 2020. The passenger car use decline will be partly compensated by strong increase in public transport rail and bus systems. See Fig.4 on P. XXII. 
CO2 emission can reduce from 32 GT in 2015 to 7 GT plus 2.0 scenario or 2.7 GT plus 1.5 scenario in 2040 and to 0 in 2050 p xxviii topic see also Energy demand management Energy industry Environmental impact of the energy industry Global warming World energy consumption List of countries by total primary energy consumption and production For history see articles on the control of fire, extraction of coal and oil, use of wind and water mills and sailing ships. <laughs> Notes <laughs>